Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video on my Canon and my new electronic ignition system. Um, basically, this is uh, something that I made. A whole bunch of speaker wire right here. Um, so you don't have to stand right on it. On the firework or whatever it is that you're lighting off with this thing. Basically, the way that works, you have some steel wool or something really thin, and you really only need a very, very little bit. Um, put it in this clamp. And then, turn it on. I don't know if you can see it, lets this yellow light glow. Flip the switch, which makes the red light glow. And you hit this button. That'll light off fireworks, or uh, if it doesn't light off the fireworks, you can put a little bit of uh, gunpowder or something like that to help light everything up. Okay, this is my cannon. The sun is open. If you can't see that, the sun is open. The sun is capped off. Actually, I have a little bit of few wool left in there. This is basically the fuse hole that I would normally put the fuse in. Uh, this clamp right here actually gives me something to clamp this side onto so that it basically grounds out the entire cannon. This is a steel wool. Usually I tend to push it in with a screwdriver into the fuse hole. Make sure you guys can see that. Okay, see? It's just kind of sticking right out there. When I have the clamps off of it. Here, the other clamp on the steel wool. And find the hole. That's basically the way that works. My camera actually changed from uh, video to pictures on me, so I lost a lot of footage. Uh, so this is kind of a retake of the scene that I lost. Uh, sorry, it's a new day. Uh, it's a little bit windy. I hope it doesn't interfere with the sound quality at all. Basically, I took a, a container about this big. Still a little to about that. It's actually quite a bit less than I have done in the past. I've done probably easily like a half container of this. Um, and then I do not put any projectile in the cannon. I actually use tissue paper so that it won't um, helps to offer resistance so that it makes a bigger boom but it doesn't go somewhere where I can lose it and like you know hit something and kill somebody or something like that you know that would not be good so I have tissue paper a lot of times it shreds it you know um, I pretty much um, pretty much pour the powder down into the barrel and then I stick the tissue paper in there and then I push this down. Make sure it's flat against the powder, otherwise any air pockets could encourage it to explode. Uh, this is a good time to mention the safety aspect. This was the end cap that I had on the cannon at one time. It did blow out. I know this is a fairly dangerous um, noise maker type thing. But I do take precautions. Um, if you decide to do anything like this, do that at your own risk. I can't take responsibility because um, it is dangerous. Okay, if you notice, I'm standing off to the side of the cannon. Uh, I remember what I mentioned before. The back end was is what blew out. First of all, the cannon is pushing forward. It's probably more likely to go back. It's just splitting. Second of all, it's uh, most likely to blow out the back. I think this would take five, six, seven, something like that. I've had a lot of trouble getting this thing going. Uh, I finally threw a piece of a trick burn fuse in there to rinse something up with that. Um, let's see if it works. Uh, okay. Iron the hole.
That was actually pretty impressive. <sighs> a little bit that I had. And one flying. Wow. Hey guys, sorry if it gets a little shaky here. As you can see, the cannon is no longer there. Obviously not over there, as I mentioned. Uh, if it's likely to go anywhere, it's likely to go back. One back probably good 10 feet, <laughs> something like that. I actually, that was actually more of an explosion than I was expecting. Um, of course, still in one piece. So that's a good thing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vid uh, video. Um, have a good one. And then I push this down.